Well, howdy there, y'all. It's uh, Johnny back here for another video, and um, we're going to be continuing on this uh, section C. Hope you're all having a good day. And um, yeah, we're going to get stuck right into it. So if I just put up here, you'll see, not that one, but you'll see that we've made a um, uh, a path. Sorry. So we just came out of the garage. We grabbed some metal beams. Now we're going to grab fuel with the four spaces we have left. Then we're going to come up here, refuel, come back here, come up here, make the metal rolls, go straight down through there, open it off, so that way we'll drop off the metal rolls and the fuel and the same run. Yeah, it's all about being efficient, you know? If you're not efficient, you waste time and money. Not that that's an issue in this game, but, um, hey, you never know, right? If I just come over to the shoulder here, it should be a bit easier. I did come through here before in this truck when I was testing it out. Made it through here quite easily. But um, that wasn't with a, a unit super heavy on the back of it. Emphasis on heavy. Um, but anyway, this thing's uh, muscling it on pretty easily. Another reason why I didn't want to use the Kenny, because the Kenny just absolutely dragged it cr across here. Like, even if it had no wheels on it, it would have absolutely just muscled its way through. And um, that's why I like this one. You can actually kind of feel the struggle a little bit. And um, I kind of like that. It kind of adds a bit more, um, I want to say, more vanilla-ish. This is a still very, um, it's still very um, power, more powerful than the vanilla Dairy Longhorn. But this thing still struggles a little bit, which is, um, which is good, I guess. But um, anyway, we're going to try and finish this off right now. No, the camera kind of glitched out there. Well, not glitched, just sort of had a spasm. Um, we're going to try and finish the rest of this today. If the video gets a bit longer than I would like it to be, I will cut it short. Well, not cut it short, I'll just end the video. And then the third video will probably be the last one. And then I would have finished all of it. But hey, I don't want it to get too boring because I know you guys don't want to be watching 25 minute videos. The last one was 25 minutes, I didn't really want it to be that long. But you just lose track of time when you're playing this game. You think you're doing stuff way quicker than you think. That sign said there was a tunnel. Is there a tunnel up here? Wait, I'm going in. Tunnel. Ah, okay. It's a, it's a weird... I mean, I guess it's good, I guess. It's a pretty straight shot if you just um, follow the throttle all the way around. It does take you to the tunnel. But, um, yeah. Now, this section here is actually very good for, for having the A-Unit 2 baby. But it's a massive roundabout, basically, this fuel station. See that other path that was over there? We just loop around. Right, and we come straight out through there, on over there, on that side. So, no problems at all with this trailer. It is very long. But, hey, they're going to be okay. Now, just take a slide so I can reverse out quite easily. Boom. And I came to this station. Because this place has unlimited fuel. And I don't have to worry about um, not having enough. Which is absolutely beautiful. What the hell is that? Oh no, it's a plant. I thought it was some sort of cargo that was glowing red or something. I hope I don't clip the power pole, probably will. Yeah, just... Oh shit, what am I doing? Ah, okay, I see. I thought I could go through that. Um... Maybe? Oh crap, I'm stuck on something. Might have been getting... Ah, uh, yeah, stuck on the tree. Now... If I can muscle my way up through here... It won't be as, um... St steep... As it is down through there. Come on. Yeah, pull me up. Come on. Alright, fine, I will. Oh, beautiful. 
Come on, trailer. Come on. I know. Come on. Jesus. It really doesn't want to go, does it? This might have been a mistake. But, um, as you guys know, I'm renowned for making stupid decisions. But, oh, no, nah, don't like it. Give me this winch on this trailer. Give me there. Come up here, and I'm going to winch you to this guy right here. I'm fine. Oh, beautiful. Alright, now that that hiccup's out of the way, we have nothing but smooth seas ahead. Take this wide so I don't clip this power pole. I love looking at this truck though. Like I said, my favourite vanilla truck in the game. It just looks so cool. Gotta take the shoulder. Just stay a bit more fast. Take this wide. Might want to shift it in high. Just have that. Oh crap! Crapola. Oh, okay, that's not enough. Ah, uh, too early. There we go. Gotcha. Um, I don't need fuel. I don't know why I think. I, for some reason I thought this had a smaller tank. But, we'll fill up anyway, just because. In the normal campaign, you would always fill up, no matter if you had one litre, just one litre empty. Like, only one litre has been used, you would always fill up. That was just the rule. Never not, never not fill up, if you have the chance. But with this thing, 900 litres. 947 litres. 950 for rounding. That's actually kind of fun, I like it through there. But, um, yeah. This thing doesn't really need... Ow, oh my... This thing does, um, the tyres don't really grip that well when you're doing stuff like this, so you kind of go off the road a little bit. If I can muscle my way through here, don't get caught. No, not going to happen. Don't think I need low. But if I shift into high in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I will be fine. Scoot around here. Smooth roads ahead. So that's going to clip that. Oh. Ow. Ugh, that tire would have been ripped off its axle. Well, trailers don't have axles, they... Hey, do they have axles? They have, they have something that the wheels are on either side. I don't know if you'd call those axles because they're not driven. But, um... Anyway. Ah, look at those middle rolls there, Ray, for us to pick up. So, I'm... Going... To... Drop off those, and then make four meta rolls, and then we just need three more, and there we go. Piece of cake. All right, now from memory, I can cut down through here. Was it down through there though? I can't remember. Oh, I think it's, yeah, I think it's up there. So I go up here a little bit. I mean, the road does go up here, so. You should find where I'm looking for. That's it right there. That's the place I take. Now, hopefully I can just muscle the trailer through these trees. Yes, sir. 
come down here nice and gentle don't tip that trailer and we're good to go ah well we knocked these few out fairly quickly didn't we yes we did chugga 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 chew chew it's ain't a train but just feels right alright now oh, oh you okay I thought I deleted that one obviously not da 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 alright now we just need some small pipes, a cargo container and a large pipe. Rightio, well, it looks like we can pick up stuff from down here. But we know we can't get anything there, so I'm crossing that straight off the list. If I end up having to have to build stuff, oh, I definitely have to look. Bleh. If I have to build stuff, I will end the video, do all that, then come back to it. I'm not really good at this, am I? I should have really organized. Well, I don't really know. Well, you know what? Should have taken the scout out. Done this earlier. Yet again, every like other YouTuber that I've seen that like. Uh, which way am I going? Yeah, left. Ugh. Every other YouTuber. Well, not every, but some of them. I only like did YouTube videos on um, Michigan, Alaska, and um, Tamir. And they didn't have to deal with building all this, so it takes them way less time for the videos. But not me. I have to, um... I have to do it the hard way. Because that's just the way the new phases are. You know what my favourite phase is? Phase 4, 100%. The one that we launched a rocket in. Not only because the the missions were actually really fun to do, but it's such a beautiful map in the snow. It is built so like perfectly, and it just feels so nice driving through there with all those big rocks of snow and just it. They just did an unreal job of that map, and I think it's the best one by far. And it kind of explains why they put four maps on it because. They put a lot of effort in the, into that, and um, they want it to be like really special, so they made it four maps, and you know the reward of doing all the missions is, is very large. Oh, ow! Now this is real deep in here. These are um, 55 inch tires. Past it. Oh god. Well, I really should have gone onto the shoulder here. Come on. It's going to be some solid tree. But the thing I do love about Wisconsin is just it feels so wet. Like this terrain and just like how it looks. It feels, even if you're not in like a wet spot, it feels like it's very rainy. And like it is now, I love it when it's raining in this game. Like, it's just so nice just to drive around in the rain. You know, hop inside the cab here and... Yeah, you can't see the rain as well, that's why I like the outside. Just like, look how... Look how pretty this is. Like, just with the rain falling on the truck and behind us. Going into the rain like this. Absolutely beautiful. Another thing I like about this map is like the forest sort of um, realm of it. Like it's very, very foresty. And I like the logging aspect. Alright, I need... Oh! Oh, beautiful! We have both our cargo containers here. Ah, okay. We still need a large pipe and um... We still need a large pipe and small pipes. So what can I make over here? Well, I'm glad both the cargo containers are here. What can we make over here?
Ah, uh, no energy in the zone. I think there is a... No? Hmm. Alright. Well, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop this off. We'll, uh, call it there. I'll bring a generated trailer back. See what needs to be done. And we'll do the last few bits of the mission. How good's that? Actually, I think I can just go straight out through here. I... During these last, um, the last two episodes, including, oh, nah, not doing it with view logs, I've done that once before, back in Tamir, and I've learned never to go near your eyes again. Or just take it very slow, and always have your bird's eye view up. Because if you run over those lo- oh, which way am I going? Where am I going? I have to go straight. Um, if you end up going over those logs, and then it gets caught in between your diffs, it's recover, or you need to get five trucks out here to help you pull it out. Or you, or you just need the biggest, most powerful truck in the game. Like, I don't know if you guys watch um, Tomcat, uh, TC9700 Gaming. But um, he got his, uh, the new international, um, the new Paystar, the 10x10, the longer one that came with this, with this phase. Got it stuck on a log. He had to get the monstrosity mod out. That still had a little bit of trouble getting it off. So if that says anything about how treacherous those log, those little stumps are, yeah, don't, just don't run over them, or your life will be a living hell. The one, another cool thing about this truck is um, it's got an engine swap in it, and it sounds different. It's not the the classic Gary Longhorn sound. And I think it sounds way better. I like just a bit more lumpy and trucky. Just I like it. I like it a lot. Now we can get large pipes there. So I will um run past there after I end the recording. And see if I can craft anything there. If not, then I'll just stick to the plan of going back there with a uh generator trailer got two big cargoes on the back here cargo containers by Sabre Interactive beautiful I love this game to death you know some people like don't see the point in it like it's just you're trying to few mud like who would ever want to play that I think it's more for people that actually do off-roading in real life and especially people that, like, maybe on farms and that, that actually have to take trucks through mud and stuff. You know, getting tractors stuck and... Like, that's the case of me. Like, I have a farm and, you know, I love going through mud and stuff and... And I love trucks and I just like the idea of trucks going through mud and stuff. But, um, yeah. So, I really, I really love this game for that. Um... So yeah, uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and ring the notification bell to stay um, caught up with all the uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.